PIM assists with Christian education and community development in remote parts of Papua New Guinea. Travel from the mission base to Oom village takes seven hours in the intense sun. Villagers help through the shallows of the Oxbow Lake. Extended families live in traditional houses higher than the floodwaters rise. With PIM's help, Ohm has changed. There's a Christian church, school, rainwater tanks, and health services. Joseph Ogamo and his wife Colleen teach classes in Melanesian pidgin and then introduce English. Singing, Bible instruction, and memorization start the day. Then follow reading, writing, and arithmetic, along with a favorite, recess. Up to 40 PIM schools operate if there's sufficient village support and mission funding. What a blessing this couple is in the lives of these 51 students in preparing them for the future. Pacific Island Ministries built this clinic serving Ohm and other villages. Malaria has weakened the patient. Left untreated, malaria kills. Richard gives pregnant women checkups. Ultrasounds at a distant hospital require costly travel. Rainwater collection from the clinic roof helps Ohm villagers. Water from shallow holes in the ground, rivers, streams, and other catchment systems is impure. PIM has provided water tanks in over 180 village installations. A corps of support workers aid the teachers, health workers, and others in small villages. In Ambonti, Rubenwak is the acting field manager. Assisting him are Jacob and Clinton, both sons of pastors. David Kassen coordinates the elementary education program. Pastor David Wagari teaches pastors and marriage seminars. Mike trains Sunday school teachers and distributes materials. Marilyn prints and produces Sunday school materials. Willie communicates with mission outstations and coordinates their supply. Morning devotions at Mbunti. Visiting missionary Doug Heidema lends a helping hand. Visitor Dan Karn of Reno helps Justin with plumbing repairs. Reverend Eric Shering and Penny working in their office. Visiting prisoners at Mbunti. Rule of law is a big factor in um, why the same person who does the same work. To help combat corruption, Pastor Eric teaches provincial government employees to apply Christian principles to the work in their lives. Ng Ho from Malaysia also taught in Lay. Recently at Vanamo, provincial government employees heard Tim Montai speak on his business experience at a seminar with Eric and Ng. Key leaders expressed appreciation for ideas taught from a Christian perspective. They see the good of following them. Teaching the timeless truths of God's Word is so important for adults as well as youth. Pacific Island Ministries educates, equips God's people at the end of the earth, that they may joyfully know Him and love Him, serving the Lord with gladness.